God is good. And all the time. Good morning, St. Therese family. Thank you so much. It is good to be with you on this October 28th. There are three days left in the month of October, which is exciting. Six days left to vote. So if your parents haven't voted yet, go out, go, go bug them. Say, ask your teacher, can, say, can I, give, can I take two seconds to go bug my mom or my dad to ask if they voted yet? You've got six days left to vote. And if you care, there are 64 days left uh, in this year, in 2020. This is the 302nd day. Um, another unique, cool thing to know is that every election year, it's also a leap year. Um, so 366 days this year instead of 365. 2020's long, ain't it? Um, it's 70s day today. Can you tell? I did my best um, channeling my inner Jimi Hendrix. Normally, as you may have seen, you might have thought I had a wig back in the day, but this is my own. This is my own right here. Uh, trying to channel my inner, my inner Jimmy this morning for the 70s. I got my medallion down here as well. Well, all the fun stuff. Um, does anybody know the saints, saints, quote unquote, plural of the day today? I'll give you a few seconds. So the saints of the day are Saint Jude and Saint Simon. And Saint Jude and Saint Simon are often confused with other people in the Bible um, just based upon their name. But to give you a little history about them, uh, Saint Jude and Saint Simon are both uh, part of the 12 apostles and um, Saint Simon is known as Simon the Zealous to not confuse him with Simon Peter um, and and Saint Jude is also known as Thaddeus to not confuse him with um, Judas Iscariot who ends up betraying Jesus well both Simon and Jude are mentioned in the Gospels only briefly, and they are not mentioned after. Um, they are not. They are not mentioned later on uh, after uh, Pentecost. And so, what we do know, though, about them is that they were faith-filled servant leaders, um, and they and they went out and preached the gospel. Um, into different parts of Africa in the Middle East um, after Jesus had left, after Jesus ascended into heaven. Um, well, they are later attributed to, um, unfortunately, being martyrs of the church. They were they were out preaching and they were ended up being killed for their faith. And so, in many different um, in the Roman Catholic Church and in the Eastern uh, church they they have different feast days that vary just because there are varying stories of when they were killed um saint june saint jude is honored as the patron saint of impossible causes um and and people attribute that because he was um often confused with judas iscariot the one who portrayed jesus uh so kind of impossible-esque weird causes there um but because of his um because of his his notion um and somebody that's thought to be portrayed as somebody who is going to persevere through these impossible causes uh saint jude is attributed um and invoked for hospitals so he's almost like the patron saint of hospitals as well um, we have our own St. Jude here in the Northwest. Um, St. Simon, um, he had a unique experience uh, in that when he was martyred, he was sawed in half. Whew. So he uh, became the patron saint of woodcutters. In a way, ironic, but hey, um, so they both were um, scholars, um, which which ties into our SLE for this week, our SLE focus, um, which is responsible lifelong learners, which they were, and um, they went out to spread 
uh, Jesus's uh, the mi- the mission. They went out to spread the mission of of Christ and the kingdom of heaven after Jesus left. Um, you know, and they listened actively and they communicated clearly when speaking. Uh, they were they probably were not communicating online as that wasn't a thing back in the day. Um, but they definitely were responsible lifelong learners um, as they communicated clearly um, when they went to preach the gospel after Jesus had left us. Uh, so St. Saint, Saint Jude and St. Simon, although you weren't high figures in the gospel, we know that you were uh, each one of the 12 apostles, uh, 12 apostles and, and, and very close to Jesus as we want to be uh, as we live our lives. Um, and we all can learn how to communicate clearly and speak clearly. Uh, and this definitely portrays to us students as we get ready for our conferences tomorrow and Friday. So with all that, let's begin our day in prayer. Remember that we are saying the sign of the cross in Hawaiian. We begin together. Kamakua, keiki, ohane, amalele, amene. Good morning, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask you to bless all we think, say, and do. We love you, God. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. And what I ought to do, I will do. By the grace of God, amen. Kamakua, keiki, ohane, amalele, amene. And we bring out all of our flag bearers. Those of you who have a flag, please bring it out. I've got Teddy back behind me. You've met Teddy. You know him. Y'all go way back. Teddy's got his flag in his left hand. If he could, he'd put his hand over his paw, over the right hand of his heart. As we say together, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Give all of our flag bearers a round of applause. And we're going to close our morning assembly together in singing as one family, lift every voice and sing. Every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. Let us march on till victory is won. Amen. Thank you, Sanctuary's family. 
Have a blessed Wednesday. Shout out to 7th grade for the unique theme, 70s theme for the day. I hope to see a lot of pictures. Have your parents take pictures of you and send them to us. We can post them on our socials. If you're an L.A. Dodgers fan, I'm a Mariners fan, but shout out to the Dodgers for winning the World Series. The Lakers won the NBA championship. Maybe this is all you, Kobe. Shout out to Kobe. Have a blessed Wednesday, and remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I'll see you soon.